OS. You really need to select a specific set of hardware. Okay, BOS Ready Systems Intel. I'm just going to scroll quick, quickly through this. You can stop the video if you uh, want to check something out. So Pentium 2 Ready Graphics Card. There's quite a few graphics cards that work, but also a rather limited set of hardware support, but uh, yeah. That is uh, a Socket 7 or a Pentium 2 processor, uh, Sound Blaster 16, and S3, uh, oops, S3 Verge DX. And yeah, this is, this has been created, this OS has been created uh, by folk uh, that were at one point part of the uh, Mac family. I believe you could drag around to the... Oh, oh you, 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 you could at some point drag around this tab. But uh, yeah, it's an offshoot of uh, ideas and, and folk that actually were working for, uh, for Apple Mac OS. And this actually in parallel to Next, was an OS that uh, could run on PC software as well. Uh, I'm running R501. This kernel was built May 26, 2000. Oh, that's interesting. It's in a day. It's, it's like 21 years old over in a day. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a very snappy OS and uh, there's a ton of features, uh, let me see, preferences, uh, you can actually see, uh, wait, if I do icon view, you can actually see some um, links to macOS, like for example the screensaver, um, it's, it's almost like a toaster, I, I thought, but uh, yeah, matrix, matrix code is actually an excellent matrix screensaver that I would not mind having on Windows too. I do have a Windows uh, screensaver. There's another matrix screensaver that's a, ton, a lot faster. And uh, there's a lens. I think this, this actually deforms the screen. Um, an Atari memory test, a fake Atari memory test. Um, let me see, 3D morph. Oh, that's just uh so yeah as you can see this actually is very snappy and what i think they've done is uh, it's of course completely preemptive multitasking but the system at all points in time is very responsive so it's like they reserve a slice of the processing time for the uh, for the for the system for the uh, for the OS. So at all points in time, the OS and the GUI is responsive, and the apps running just slow down. But the OS itself is uh, is just working. Now I did uh, I did uh, install an NE two thousand card, and supposedly this this should work. Let me see apps. There's a terminal. Terminal. So I should be able to ping. So it's like ping and uh, not ping. But it's timing out. So actually, there's something not quite right with uh, with how the. Uh, I mean, it does recognize the NE2000, but. It, it's not liking the uh, it's not liking the uh, the settings I've put in. So 101 was actually the setting of the host. Oh look at that. 3com interlink oh that's that's the thing. The 3com interlink thing is not is not no that's not 
custom add jumper. Nope. That one should not be there. Let's see if I can if I can uninstall that. Uh, software valet. I thought that was uh, configure. No install or the install. No. There's another one, a package menu, a package menu manager or something like that. Let me see. Poor man's uh, web service Cozy probe. Oh, pulse. You can actually see that uh, just dragging around a window just bogs down the processor. Um, for a multimedia OS, it it <laughs> it has has actually no hardware acceleration. It just uses the frame buffer. Um, let me see. Uh, expander installer. Is that it? No, that's the uh, that's the installer. Uh, you can actually install the OS on another drive from within the OS, which is actually quite cool. Uh, media player and net positive. That's a develop. That's a development uh, thing. So you can actually develop software for it. Software valet, sound recorder, poor man. I think preferences then. Uh, there's there's a way to uh, no there's a way to actually deinstall the packages. It has a package manager, but uh, BOS no that's inside. So this is the software valet Ma oh, manage of course that's it. Let's see if I can deinstall the. Um, the uh, the drivers if 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 it if it's possible perhaps I bogged it traffic lights ten games week sixteen solitaire sound loss or sixteen audio drivers but the uh, I don't think the uh, no so I bogged it I destroyed it uh, because I installed uh, real tech drivers on top. And so yeah, there's no way I could have actually the network going. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fast system. At, le at least it <laughs> it looked fast back in the day. Uh, with proper hardware acceleration, this actually moves along quite rapidly. I I remembered Voodoo Three was supposed to be on here for a hardware support, but for some reason this OS doesn't uh, support um, Voodoo 3 yet. The 503 release might. You can actually add some more teapots, but then it just severe, severely bogged down and um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the thing is, people would just turn on oh, turn on all this stuff like the GL teapot and uh, the star chart, and then animation, uh, slow rotation, direct window. So and that's going on, and then perhaps do the pulse. So it's yeah, it's really honking the, and then go for some some of the toys. Uh, let me see tra traffic light demo. Traffic lights about. So this is like a, a traffic light simulator. <laughs> uh, okay, and it, it crashed. I think. Uh, let me see star chart. There's another star chart. Three D star chart. Yeah, like so. Uh, oh, there's an Earth. Be Earth. Desktop Earth. Be Earth. So it takes a bit for it to uh, to load, or perhaps it won't. No, it's eight, eight, it's eighty six. But yeah, uh, life hacks. That's interesting. Perhaps uh, 
it is bogging down the processor too much. I'm not sure. Let's let's see if I can turn off the uh, 3D start chart. And I'm not sure why life hacks isn't starting. Perhaps open. Perhaps only a certain amount of OpenGL uh, can be. Oh, look, there it is. So it's just uh, it's live. I like I like how that goes. So yeah, but you know, at, in a time when when uh, a lot of uh, OSs just were clonking along on our low Pentium. 200 MMXs and stuff, you know. This was a fresh breath of air. Flame station. Not sure what this actually is. Flame station README. So yeah, you, you can actually see that the, the the system remains responsive, but under underneath, you know, the, the execution of the software uh, actually takes a, a fair bit of time. Flame station for BOS. What is this? Uh, artificial intelligence oh, and <laughs> the power of the operating system. Flames, indistinguishable frames hand handcrafted. Oh wow, so that's a flame physics thing. Now oh, the flame station, let's see. Yours truly, Mr. Bozo. <laughs> educated, flame star educated, cold fusion. Flame. <laughs> Oh, uh, all righty. So you can actually, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like an email thingy. Uh, bad date, what's that? Ignore me. I'm not going to ignore you. Is it really a serious one? Plan oh, so it's a GUI-less uh, app. Uh, attraction. That's interesting what that actually is. I think this is a physics demo or something like that. So I did launch the uh, the web browser, I think. But yeah. Um, I liked OSs with a smart GUIs controller. Netpa oh, Netpa's up here. There you go. So yeah, you can actually see when um, the processor is, is totally hogged, then uh, it takes a while for the system to uh, to boot up. Quick start. Uh, Attraction. So I guess this is some sort of physics demo. Perhaps I should turn that off. Ah, that, that really. Uh, so. Pixel. Uh, look, you can draw the the pixels and then they attract, attract stuff like this, toys like that. You know, it's really it gives you a scientific <laughs> feel, a smart feel that you're just using this weird, weird. Uh, I'm not sure if you can know. You're actually using this weird OS that um, you know in the background of some hacking movie or science fiction movie, you know, you, you'd see these, uh, these, uh, let me see, desktop, BOS Pro, apps, and then of course the terminal, just to, to have some something going. Uh, info, no, mom. So this basically is very, very similar to many of the Linux systems, you know, they have 
very similar structures and stuff. But uh, yeah, the, you know, in the in the back of a uh, in the background of a movie on hacking or whatever. Oh look, they they they've uh, reached the perfect mass there. So neon. Oh wow, look at that. That's in interesting and a fluid. So yeah, it's really and life is also using a lot of uh, so I think oh look 3D star close all and 3D star chart is a bit of a nasty one look now the, the system actually this the tr is not uh, for it's not responding for for a bit but yeah I, c I could go into the story of how um, oh look it really hangs perhaps open the terminal and type reboot or something like that um, terminal terminal reboot shut down look at that without uh, <laughs> without the super user um, command so yeah there's there's an application that's really hogging the system so it, I mean it's not perfect you know things can still take down uh, the system but uh, yeah it's still doing the reboot help oh look look at that there's a Echo, exit, read times true. So these are the scripting commands. You know, bash, help name, info bash, info bash, ver, no, exit, log out, yeah. So cancel shutdown, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, it, it, it's really, that's the 3D star chart that's actually uh, being very nasty here. I've had that before. So, I mean, it looks nice, but it really is coded. Um, I don't want to say coded poorly, but it doesn't behave well with the BOS. Okay.